Hey guys, this is PC Tech Crew, and today we're going to be teaching you the basics of CSS3. CSS3 is compatible in almost all browsers, except for IE and old versions of any browser, really. But um, IE9 is supposed to have support for it, but yeah, IE is in compatible with a lot of stuff. Um, but um, all the major browsers out there it's compatible with soon it'll be compatible with IE2 which is good so let's get started we're gonna get started with text shadow now as you can see on the screen the text shadow syntax is um, X offset Y offset blur color so basically an example would be one pixel four pixels um, five pixels, and then number sign six 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 six. For example, text shadow is basically a shadow behind the text. We'll show you an example on the screen. Another awesome feature of CSS three is border. Radius, but I mean, yeah, basically it lets you have rounded borders, which is a great feature. We'll show you an example of a website using rounded borders. Okay, now the syntax is full for um. Well, basically there is no syntax, but we'll show you the codes you'll need. Basically, the only syntax is how rounded the, you want the border to be. Um, for WebKit browsers, you need to put dash WebKit dash border dash radio radius. For other browsers, you're gonna use dash moz dash border dash radius. For browsers like Firefox and WebKit for Chrome, like Chrome and Safari, um, you can if you want to do each different um like different corners. You want different corners to have different radiuses. You're gonna do well. We'll put it on the screen. Box shadow. Um, box shadows are great feature. The syntax is like text shadow. X offset, Y offset, blur, color. So example: two pixels, seven pixels, two pixels. Then um, number sign one one one. Okay, next we're gonna move on to RGBA. Now, RGBA syntax is red, green, blue, alpha. So, RGBA can be used with any color, like border colors, background colors, font colors, sh shadow colors, um, really anything you can think of that would need a background. I mean, a color. Um, so I'll put the syntax on the screen. And yeah. Next, we're going to move on to the border image. Um, I'll put the code on the screen. And yeah. And this is if you. I'll put an example on the screen, but this is basically if you want to have a border around an image. Um. Say you, and there's a way to stretch it too. Um, say you wanted like it to the one little image to be repeated across the screen, like how, how, whatever the size of the image is, it just keeps repeating. You just put um round round at the end of the tag, which is shown on the screen, and it'll do that. Or if you want it to be stretched, just the one image stretched, it, you just put stretch. Stretch, stretch. So, um, you can do, um, border corner image, which I'll show you on the screen. Border, yeah. Um,.
that concludes part one of the basics of CSS. We might do a part two, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, that's about it. This is PC Tech Crew signing off.